Everyone's called to be in the ministry. You may not be called to pastor or lead a church, but everyone is called to be in the ministry. This is a very weak church, okay? I know it's Mother's Day. You are an ambassador for Christ. You have been given the ministry of reconciliation. Go and help reconcile the world unto him. Love the world. That's your assignment. The world is your opportunity. As Wesley said, the world is my pulpit. Some of you are looking for a place of ministry, and it's right in your workplace. It's right with your neighbors. It's right with the people that you interact with in, uh, in daily life. And so these Pharisees, they're, they, they're working some jobs, but they didn't like shepherds. Again, the bony finger of judgment. They viewed shepherds as common people, and they avoided them. Jesus, however, does not view shepherding as an unclean profession. The Pharisees would hire those shepherds to tend their flocks because they considered shepherding as something menial and beneath them. So the phrase having 100 sheep can refer to ownership, and 100 sheep represented considerable wealth. The Pharisees may have had large flocks themselves, or they may have shared the flocks, I'll explain that more in a minute, with others in the community. But the Pharisees, this is the key in this passage, they would not have expected Jesus to infer they were the ones to go look for a lost sheep. That would have been someone else's job. Pastor, why do you go get the lost sheep? I'm too busy. No, no, I can't get where you are. Only you can reach the lost sheep that you work with and live with and interact with. (laughs) 